community were not made aware of this. It was uh, someone from across the road seeing what was happening. They came over, they walked in, seeing what was going on, asked a few questions. At first they denied it was a refugee centre and then they later admitted that it, yes, it is a refugee centre. My name is Suzanne Murphy and I am a local resident born and reared in Finglas. And what is proposed here is a unit for 222 refugees. Um, not Ukrainian refugees, U refugees from Eastern European. Us as a community cannot sustain that, that amount of people being landed in the community. As it stands at the moment, we already have a mental health crisis in our community. And I'm not just talking about what the people have been through COVID. This community has been through a lot of hurt, a lot of debt. We have a drug epidemic, we have a crime epidemic. Our policing community cannot even police what's happening at the moment. And then they're bringing in proposedly 222 men that no background checks or anything has been done and they're left to roam the area. There's already been incidents where of intimidation. Now, we do know one of the incidents, the men came from this building and I myself witnessed an incident a few weeks ago up where I live from men of a different creed as well, intimidating young girls, where it took three adults to go and step forward and say, hang on a minute, there's something wrong here. And we asked the girls to move on. We told the men not to be in contact with the girls, but it didn't stop them. We cannot sustain this. Our schools were over flooded. We cannot get GP appointments. It's five hours for an ambulance on some occasions. And is there, are there people actually in building at the moment or have you an idea? We've been informed that they, the last trickle of them were moved out early this morning, late last night, early morning, the last of them are moved out but that's only temporary we've been told it's only temporary so what they're probably going to do is put an injunction in here and apply for it and they'll be back again there's already two other proposed sites as well where they're looking to open up another place like this within the community of Finglas. Have any of the local TDs or councillors contacted you to ask you? The, the local councillors were not made aware of this until Tuesday so and then there was a, a notification put out by one of the local councillors yesterday that um, it was being shut down but a local, another local councillor today has just confirmed from Social Democrats that it's only temporary. So it's only a temporary That's closure? Being advised at the moment that it is only temporary. And like I said, they're already doing work in the Harry Bow site, the old Harry Bow factory, and that's another proposed site, and then St. Lawrence's as well. Have anybody from Dublin City Council or anybody else contacted anybody in the community to ask them? The community were not made aware of this. It was uh, someone from across the road seeing what was happening. They came over. She walked in, seeing what was going on, asked a few questions. At first they denied it was a refugee centre and then they later admitted that it, yes, it is a refugee centre. So for the moment, it's a small victory because they are gone, but we cannot take this lightly either because it's, like I said, it's temporary and there is already two other sites in there. Our community, we won't even take this on the bigger picture of Dublin and Ireland about one day probably being a minority in our own country. I'm taking this just back to our community here and the way our community is at the moment. Whether these be 200 people moved from England or whatever, we cannot sustain this. They're not building enough, like more GPs, primary care centres. We're still waiting. We don't have a primary care centre, a big one like they do have in Blanchardstown. So we're already, as a community, struggling. We can't take this. And then more policing. They can't, the police can't police what's happening at the moment. So how are they going to be able to keep an eye on an extra 200? And God knows how many of them are criminals. And... Do you plan to keep the protest going then until you're given assurances about yeah, what's going on? Yeah, come back here, we'll be right up there at Harry Ball, we'll be all, all of them, all of them. We will continue and we will not stop. They will not get away with this. They pushed in the Abigail Centre up there. We as a community fought to get that taken out of our area and it was, it was shut down. Now it took a while, but this, we're more aware, we got in quick and we're not going to stop.